Hello world. That's the one, the only. How are you? Here. I'm currently getting a massage in a massage chair. Oh, just did a nice little workout today. Yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Oh man. This chair is nice. But, anyways, so, had a pretty good day. Nice little Friday. Had my second day at work. Oh, it wasn't too bad. I gave a little hour of, uh, hour of play at Butt Shack. Ah, it was fun. It's really, really fun, guys. Go check it out. I had a blast. I played with, uh, two guys from Expo. Uh, young Cats. It was pretty fun. It was really fun, man. If you're not, if you're in the Louisville area, or if you have a putt check, by all means, please go, because it is dope. It is a really fun place to go with a bunch of friends, or even take on a date. Oh, man, this chair's hitting the spot. Anyways, so, today was very interesting. After I got off work, I went to go see my buddies at a local gas station up the corner, whatever have you. Everyone's still there. Same old thing, but you know, politics, right? So, the question, not question, but necessarily, the conversation came, turned into um, office drama, so to speak. I don't want to talk too much about it, but I just find it still very interesting. You know, yet again, you know, people in high positions, higher power positions, um, leading with their emotions, you know. The biggest grief for my friends at uh, at the gas station was that their, their GM there was um, not hiring anybody, particularly hiring any people or giving anybody any hours. Um, other than her, other than themselves, the GMs, and I brought the the point that you know the nine to five is just is just run by people and their feelings and emotions. And I told them, like once again, you know, I've had to walk out on jobs yet again, over and over again, due to management. Because they asked me, you know, where you been at? You know, it's been a while. And I told them, you know, I had a couple jobs here and there, but I'm back again. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I don't care what nobody says. Playing fitness, massage chairs, slap. I feel like I just, I feel like, you know, when you just got out of the pool. When you, were, when you was a little kid, you went swimming. You just got out of the pool. Your mama had the, 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 the ham and cheese sandwich with the fruit and the Capri Sun. And you don't you don't even hop in the sh you don't even change or nothing, you just eat the snack, then go change and get back into your regular clothes. Ah, uh, I just Ah, uh, that's how I'm feeling right now. But anywho, uh yeah, like I was saying, man. It's a damn shame. <clears throat> And the more and more I realize that this this nine to five shit ain't working, the nine to five gigs, just over and over again, just left and right, no matter what. Like once I started noticing it, or once it started happening to me, the more I see it and notice it. The more I see and notice it, the more my mind starts gearing and turning towards actually having a business and making a business. <clears throat> a brick and mortar with a good, healthy, cultivating environment for people. Um, but the one thing that's, that's the con to it, so to speak, that, that crosses my mind, cross my mind today, is who you allow to work for you. Team is important. I learned today that uh, my head chef my head chef and 
I think one or two, one supervisor, and then I think two other coworkers that I work with. They all came from another restaurant, and I was just like, huh. And then my coworker today, my senior coworker today, he's leaving, but he is leaving because um, another executive chef or, or chef that was working at Puck Chef had left or whatever or something like that but he's leaving to to go work with another chef and i'm just like that's how you do it that's how you that's how you really move up and get up and, and grind you know what i mean like that's how you scale up so to speak sadly to say nobody's scaling up because of their abilities or skills their moving and scaling up in their industry because who they know and who they know is important who knows you is important but more importantly it's, it's like they've even seen what you did so i don't know that but enough about that but today we went, went, went pretty well it went really well i like today but this whole week has just been something else really been something else yeah. Ah. Let me cut it here. I'll get right back with you. Because, man, I need smoke on this. Uh, hi, right, guys. So, yeah. Uh, so, about this week. So, getting the week started out great. <clears throat> started out really well. Really well. Real well. to orientation, had orientation earlier this week, and well, my mother, um, she's been having back problems, she's been having back problems since, I want to since since I was like, what, 12, 13, 14, something like that, but anyways, um, she had a back spasm, so to speak, she couldn't move, she couldn't walk, this is about the third time this year this has happened and um previously i've missed work out on it but this time go around was it was something serious and it's been weighing weighing quite heavy on me and i ain't gonna talk too much too much on it because i need to get some z's in but um in a nutshell cliche type in a cliche way um you know my mother's getting up her in age and she really doesn't have anyone to care for her um, you know, it's getting pointed to a time, you know, talking about caretaking and who's going to be a caretaker and who has the time to do it and, you know, programs, looking into programs and stuff like that. And so I, I guess, um, you know, it's finally, it's finally narrowing down that time to actually really take it serious and think about it and, uh, just, I don't know. It weighs heavy because this is something that I talked about in my 20s, in my early 20s. This is something I was talking about in my teens. You know, I've, I've told my family, I told the family, and I told my family, my mom, or my sister, my, my dad, like, hey, you know, it's gonna get a point in time. She's gonna be in that house by herself and she slips and falls. She's gonna break something. And she's never gonna recover from it. So like, what are y'all gonna do about it? And they look to me to do something about it. And so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's all weighing on me and leaning on me. And um, I'm going to therapy this week to really flush it out really, but I, I, I just don't know. It, where my mind is at, where my heart is at, is that I do have I, I have I have two choices, right? Um, and put it in a nutshell, one choice is something I've been working on for me and bearing my life and bearing myself, and the other choice is aligned with just blatantly discarding all of that, you know. I've set my 30s for me because all through my 20s, I would advocate and profusely advocate to both my mom and my sister. Neither one of them have, have you know, mates. Um, 
they don't really have prospects of mates and so i was the male um presence in their life for all through my 20s and i would tell them hey here i am use me you know i might be living with you but hey you know if you want to if you want to save money to get a house with my sister or you know my mom hey you want to do some renovation you know you get the supplies i have the knowledge nope and so here i am you know in my early 30s and reality's hitting that wall is hitting i hate to put it like that but that wall hitting that wall hitting hard I ain't that's a great wall of china right there hitting hard and, and i don't you know what i mean there's a part of me that wants to feel bad but on the other hand it's part of me is just like you've been worn i can't do nothing else and the latter is so much stronger you know the part of me that feels bad or no the part of me that's just like you've been warned is just flat out just like fuck all that noise you know really fuck all that noise because if i do because if i really do go out my way and, and really detour because what i would have to do in a in a snap uh, you know in a perspective way or whatever I'm uh, like you know i would I would have to learn how to be a caretaker. I would have to go through jumps, you know. I'll probably have to go through some programming, some schooling, and investing in that. And I don't, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't want to put in the time. I really don't. Especially when I made a whole decade. A whole decade. Now, you ask, you ask my family, they're gonna save face. I'm saying it right now on record. They're gonna save face. Nah, he never said that. All right, all right. Remember, you gonna reap what you sow. Remember that. You know, yo, yo, God don't like ugly. Gods don't like ugly. You know what I mean? So that that's been weighing heavy on me in the middle, uh, majority of this week, man. And so, um, yeah. But so far, so good for the rest of the week. I've been working all this weekend. As you might see, I'm outside. You know what I mean? I'm outside with it. I'm outside with the crows. You might be able to hear the crows. I don't know yet. There's a big ass crow just chilling out here. Um, yeah, I'm outside with it. Just for the weekend or whenever I'm working out here. I work one side of town. I kind of stay on the other in the garage. Um, but yeah. It works going good. Uh, so far, so good. Getting the hang of things at the shack of the shack, put shack. It was packed. Uh, it was packed Saturday. It was packed Saturday night. It was, it was huge night. It was filled with nothing but a bunch of big adult kids. Let me tell you, just a big adult kids, just swinging little putt putts and, and hitting balls in the holes. That's it. Just a bunch of big kids, and I like and I like seeing that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. The after eight, if you ever go to a putt check, and you're adult and of age, go after eight. There's no kids. The, the music is different. The vibe is different. It's almost like a club. It's, it's a little baby club to be all honest with you. With a bunch of games, it's pretty dope. It's, it's kind of lined with uh, Dave and Buster, so to speak. Where you know, there's food, drinks, and games, and it's more known to go uh for games and drinks and so, you know adult breakfasts and stuff like that but you can bring your kids just before eight and then heck saturday night the kids or saturday yeah saturday afternoon saturday night uh man there was a bunch of families there a bunch of parties there it was really really dope really, really dope we got slammed on the line by my little section uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch base with y'all guys and let y'all get a little, little whiff of my, of my week. I don't know when this video is going to be up. I'm hoping I get it done by the end of this day. Um, I'm hoping before midnight. If I get it done before midnight, that's an accomplishment in my book. I cannot promise you nothing. I'm, I'm taking a 
Corey X Kinchin, Corey Kinchin approach to this like, hey yo, I make a video, I make a video, yo, like please like it, please like subscribe to videos, please. Shout out to all the supporters out there. Um, you know, I, I love you all. all on all platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I also have a Twitter now. I also have a Twitter now. No worries, where else? So you got Twitter, follow me. I'll be talking. I'll be just be talking BS and stuff like that. About the days. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with TikTok so far yet. I just kind of threw it up there to see what's up with it. See how I feel about it. I had a whole... Well, not had. I still have a whole, like, plan to... Uh, I'll save that for another video. I'll save that. Uh, but yeah, I have a whole game plan for Elway's World. The whole broadcast. I still got the whole broadcasting thing. I've been watching a lot of... Uh, content creators on there on instagram um man the lives i had ideas for it. oh i met a co-worker his name is nikolai he's from uh was it villanova nah ball ba something he's from somewhere right um but he's an artist too and his story his life story is literally like a starving artist movie literally like fell in love like was overseas lived overseas met american girl uh who was living in his country fell in love moved to america with like the whole nine yards just full-fledged love story artist tragedy i mean I have to interview this guy. I have to interview this guy. So hopefully tomorrow he's up there tomorrow. I'm going to ask him tomorrow and see what's up. Hopefully you'll see him if he's okay with that. Um, man, that would be so dope. Oh, my goodness. So dope. Ah, oh. oh, man. The ideas keep flowing. Billion dollar baby, man. Billion dollar baby. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. But I'm gonna get off here. I love y'all. Uh, yeah. And remember, somebody, somewhere, somebody loves you. Peace.